How to Create a Freeform Curtain Wall in 3D. In this chapter, we will see how powerful and flexible the curtain wall tool is. We will build an imaginary glass building which could be an aircraft hangar or even a metro station. We will show you there is no limit to designing interesting surfaces and covering unique planes in 3D. Activate the first preset view located in the Chapter 10 folder. Activate the next preset view to switch to the 3D window. Select the CW7 favorite. Let's create a freeform curtain wall. This will be the glass roof of the building. Choose the chained polyline geometry method and the intelligent manual plane input method on the info box. Set the slant working plane. Click both the internal bottom sides of the opening. Then click the third point at the top of the opening. Start drawing the freeform curtain wall from the top of the wall on the internal side from left to right. Change the geometry method to arc by center point at the left side of the opening. Select the center of the arc by clicking on the middle of the opening and then complete the arc on the right side of the opening. Finish the polyline on the right side of the wall complex symmetrically like the way we started on the other side. Click the right mouse button and press OK on the context menu to finish the polyline. Click above the wall with the sun cursor and enter 24,000 millimeters for the length from the palette, then press Place. Activate the next preset view to see the curtain wall in 3D. Select the roof, switch to the edit mode, and unhide the scheme. Click on the corner of the roof boundary and drag this point to the first junction from the vertical curtain wall part. Then repeat this step on the other side as well. Leave the edit mode and activate the next preset view. Select the CW8 favorite. Now let's build the end of the building. Change the geometry method to boundary. Define the working plane using three points. The two corners of the basement slab and the vertex of the curved boundary and the roof. Start drawing the boundary polyline from the corner of the basement slab then continue around the internal side of the roof frames. Close the polyline at the start point. Then click with the sun cursor on the middle of the polygon to set the external side. Activate the next preset view. And select the CW7 favorite again. Creating the sides of the building. Define the working plane using three points, the two corners of the slab, and the third will be the corner of the roof. Start the boundary on the left side of the slab, then continue around the roof like as before for the slant wall. And finish it at the point where you started. 
Make sure the geometry method and input methods are the same as in point 10. Click on the middle of the polygon to set the external side with the sun cursor. Go to the floor plan, select the curtain wall on the bottom, and mirror a copy using the middle axis of the building. Activate the next preset view to see the interior of the building. Then activate the final preset view to see what the exterior looks like. This completes Chapter 10. This imaginary curtain wall can easily become a reality with ARCHICAD. There is no limit to creating free forms and covering all kinds of planes in your design.